Hello, I'm Joel, I'm with TLS, and today I'm here at the Hope and Ruin with the legendary Mikey Shoes. So, how's the tour going so far? Um, extremely cold, um, and really fun, and uh, refreshing to, to get back on the road after four years of nothing. So you're definitely very used to being on tour with, you know, Queens of the Stone Age, Mini Mansions. How are you sort of adapting to being on tour by yourself? It's interesting. I mean, I've never done a tour literally by myself. There's no, there's no, you know, collaboration and interaction on stage. But, um, you know, there's there's so many vocals that it's, I, I really, there, I wouldn't even look at anybody anyways. This started, I mean, I don't know what it will turn into, but yeah, everything so far has just been me. Being able to take your time um, with writing and, 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 and kind of doing whatever you want. Yeah, so sort of with this project, you're saying you're taking a new creative direction. Is it something you've had in the pipeline for a while, or was it just sort of a spur of the moment idea that you had? There is something that I wanted to do that I that really would not work with Queens, and we kind of dabbled in it in mansions maybe here and there, but I wanted to do something that was more... Um, beat based because I, I just feel like now I can say whatever I want I, there's no I'm not representing anybody else you know I'm just representing myself so I can just flow out exactly what I want to say and it feels so it feels very freeing very me um, more so than anything else I've done yeah I mean it's definitely sounding brilliant um, in my opinion I'm loving your work um, you've had a phenomenal career um, like collaborating with the likes of Miles Kane your close friend is there anyone you have in mind for this project that you're really hoping to collaborate with? I don't know. I, 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 I've had a lot of people in mind. Some things haven't worked out. Um, um, I do like the thought of having more female voices on this because it's just me. I like that 90s, um, early 2000s like hip-hop and, and, and pop music where like you'd have like whoever it was. Nelly or you know Eve or whatever it is, and then you have like this like female voice coming on the chorus. I really I really like like that. What was the significance of the name Blue? Actually, We're trying to come up with something that represents you and all the music and everything, your aesthetic and everything. It's really a t it's a tough task. When I was still mulling it over, a couple weeks later, my aunt had sent over this letter that was written about my grandfather. He was in the war and it kind of just gave a little biography and a breakdown of his time. And the last two sentences were, I can't remember the exact words, but it was like, you know, he was the glue, um, you know, for all the men and he's the glue to our family. And I was just like, okay, well, I was already thinking about it and that came to me. A lot of personal layers there on there as well, which is, that's brilliant, yeah. How do you think your your, your new fans have received your music so far on this tour? They, I think that my fans have an open mind musically, and I think that's why they're they're okay with this and they see what I'm doing. And they were they really the reception was was incredible. I was I was surprised, and but it gave me confidence to know that uh, what I'm doing is 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 right. Would you have any advice, sort of, for like independent musicians trying to sort of make out a new sound and a new genre? If you are yourself, and you know, 100%, you know, honestly yourself, then then it will sound different than anything else. Do something that scares the shit out of you, and that will, you know, most likely garnish you the most success, um, you know, creatively in your soul and to the world. 